Watching the news over the last decade, one could easily think that gamekeepers are the bad guys when it comes to conservation and biodiversity. The role of the modern gamekeeper has changed, and now more than ever, they're pushing to increase the biodiversity on land they manage. The most common ways they do this is through habitat creation, supplementary feeding, and through the control of common generalist predators. The problem in many areas is that the populations of certain species are extinct, and the only way to get them back is through reintroductions. One of these species is the hen harrier, who is reintroduced through a project called brood management. Brood management involves the collecting of hen harriers, eggs, or chicks in areas where the nesting density goes over a certain threshold. The birds are cared for until they're ready to fly before reintroducing them into areas where the hen harrier is struggling. This relieves pressure on areas where these birds thrive, whilst hopefully establishing new breeding populations. Tom, you're a keeper pretty close to the release site. It's not going to be long until you have hen harriers here. Are they welcome here? Yeah, of course they are. Just like all the others, there's, there's part and parcel of the countryside. And if it happens to be that they're, they're released and they come here, then, then why shouldn't they be welcome? The main thing is, is we're more important about letting everyone know that we are a little bit more transparent and we're inviting birds onto here and certainly um, we're not going to be pushing back against having them here. Do you have a negative effect on what you do? We have got a lot of birds of prey here anyway and doesn't seem to ruin my seasons or affect my game um, in a, a detrimental way so it's something that just is happening and we can't stop the flow of it and we need to encourage it. This is the attitude of the modern gamekeeper. Their role in 2023 is much more of a custodian of the countryside in general, and far less laser focused on game alone. Through the hard work of gamekeepers, the hen harrier population is on the rise. And with uninterrupted hard work, will continue to recover for years to come. It's not just birds of prey that benefit from their hard work, of course. Many other species benefit as well. One in particular is the curlew. The curlew is Europe's largest wader, and their population is in rapid decline. In order to combat this decline, a plan was put in place to relocate from areas where their populations are stronger to areas where they have become locally extinct. with the hope of establishing new breeding populations. This plan is called the Head Start Project. This project took curlew eggs from a gamekeeper-managed curlew stronghold in the Yorkshire Dales and brought them down to an estate managed for wild birds in Sussex. I'm just here to show you a bit more of what's going on down here in Sussex. Uh, the eggs obviously started their initial incubation up north and then travelled down in a purpose-built incubator. And then when we got them down here, we put them in different batches in these incubators. We went with the Archon Pros, as recommended by Natural England. We had to apply for the licence from Natural England and we couldn't do a thing until we'd got that licence. It had certain conditions on that we had to abide by, one of which was very detailed record keeping. These birds were cared for by the gamekeepers until they were old enough to survive in the outside world at which time they were released onto the South Downs. We would think that we probably won't see any of these birds until 2024. And then we're just hoping that one sort of day in March or April or, you know, when they come back, that we'll be checking a trap or, you know, doing what we do. And we'll hear that, that classic call of the curlew and we'll know that it's been a success. That's what it's all about, restoring a, a breeding population to the Downs. And like I say, when that day comes, we'll know that it's worked. I think most people that have reared any birds, whether it's pheasants, partridges, could do something like this. You know, the same principles apply. Um, there's nothing, it's, it's not rocket science, it's just good husbandry and, and, and you know, stockmanship, really. Well, this was a logical extension to our general nature restoration project, which we've been having down here for the last 20 years. It started with Dick Potts coming into my office and say, saying the wild grey partridge would become extinct on the whole of the South Downs unless we did something. And I think I said, well, it's not going to happen on my watch, Dick. We're going to have a try. And we've gone from then only 10 grey partridges to over 2,000 in a good year and a shootable surplus. 
And of course, that's a wonderful driver, you know. So the grey partridge is now safe. We've done the same with lapwing. We've done the same with, you know, yellow hammers, um, you know, corn buntings, etc., and a whole host of flora and fauna. And this was just a, a wonderful logical extension. It's red listed. We have something like 40% of the remaining Eurasian curlew on this globe here in, in, in Britain. And, you know, elsewhere, it, it is just as threatened as it is here. And numbers have been going down and down and down. Grouse moors, the driven grouse moors, are keeping the curlew going. Unlike Wales, where they're almost extinct, unlike Ireland, they're almost extinct. And south of Birmingham, there are very, very few curlew successfully breeding. And we can't just sit back and rely on the, on the northern grouse moors. We've got to get curlew going again here in the south. This is the attitude of landowners and gamekeepers across the UK. However, red tape has made these processes harder than they need to be. With these reintroductions, mixed with the land management that shooting estates are doing, paint a very bright future for biodiversity in England. And one hopes that it will only become easier in the future for this sort of work to be carried out.